Hello everybody, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. Today we're going to find an interesting video about carts of total based discounts. Alright, so we're going to create discounts based on the carts of total value of customers. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. To begin with, we will have to go to the WordPress dashboard and then under WooCommerce, you'll find Woo Discount Rules. If you click on it, you'll be taken to the plugins dashboard where you can start creating your rules. To create new rule, we'll have to click on add new rule button which will take us to the rule configuration page. Now let me explain the scenario in detail for the cards of total discount that we are trying to create in this video. We're going to offer 10% off for spending $100 and then 15% off for spending $200 and then 30% off for spending $300 and above. As you can see from the scenario that we're trying to accomplish, we're going to offer different percentage discounts for different tier card subtotal, isn't it? So let's first create the discount rule for the first tier, which is 10% off for spending $100 to $199. Alright, to do this, let's first enter a suitable title. I'm going to say card subtotal discount. 10% off for spending between $100 to $199. It's important for us to restrict the value to this particular range so that when customers purchase or move to the next tire, they'll qualify for the next discount, which is 20, 15%. All right, nice. After we enter a suitable title, let's go to choosing a discount type by clicking on this drop down, and I'm going to select card adjustment for this particular scenario because I want the discount to apply on the cart value. Nice. And then let's also decide the products that are eligible for this cart subtotal discount. I'm going to leave it to all products for this particular scenario, meaning all products on my store are eligible for cart subtotal discount. Nice. Next, we will have to select the discount type and the value. As discussed, it's going to be 10 percentage off and hence I'm selecting the discount type to be percentage discount and set the value to 10. 10%. Nice. You can see something like this called discount label. Generally, while having cart adjustment discount rule type, you can see that the discount will be applied in the form of a coupon. And that's why it's important for us to give a discount label. I'm going to set it to 10% off. Okay, nice. You will see this as we see the discount being applied on the cart. I will show you that a little later. All right. Now comes the most important step. We have created a 10% cart adjustment rule, but we will also have to restrict it to be applied only for customers who spend from $100 to $199, meaning their cart value should be in this range in order for them to qualify for the discount. To do this, we're going to add a condition called subtotal. All right. And then here we get to fix the range for this particular discount to be applied on the cart. I'm going to set this to subtotal greater than or equal to $100. So customers need to have at least $100 in order for them to receive the 10% off. And I'm also going to restrict this 10% off to be applied between $100 to $199. To do that, I'm going to again click on add condition, select subtotal condition again. This time I'm going to select subtotal should be less than or equal to 199 okay this is how you cap a value so that this particular discount is applied for this range all right and then how to calculate the subtotal i'm going to say count all items in the cart meaning i want all the items that customers add to their cart to be counted for this subtotal count nice that's it easy isn't it now let's save and close this particular rule you can now see that we have created the discount card subtotal discount for the first tier. Similarly, we'll have to repeat the same procedure 
and create different rules for the differing percentage discounts for the different tires okay so give me some time while i create that i'm going to just use the same steps but change the discount percentage value and the range okay thank you for allowing me time you can see that i have created three different discount rules for the differing percentage discounts and the tire okay you can see 10% off for 100 to 199 and then 15% off to 200 to 299 and 20% off for 300 and above so based on the customer spending the card's up total value the particular discount will be applied to test this we're going to go to the storefront all right let me take you to the storefront and here we go all that we have to do is qualify ourselves for the card subtotal discount all right so let me purchase products that qualifies myself for the card subtotal discount i'm gonna add this sunglass to my cart nice along with which i'm also going to buy this bean and add it to my cart now let me take you to the cart page now you can see that my card subtotal falls in the first range which is 100 to 199 and that's why you can see a 10% off is applied on my card. Okay. This is where the card discount is applied. No, the label is 10% off. And this label appears because we have entered it while creating the rule. Alright. So this discount label refers to the label that is applied in the card. Okay. Good. So we have checked the discount that is applied for the first tire. Let me now increase the card values. So that I qualify for the next tire discount. All right. To do this, I will have to increase my card quantity, and then you'll be able to see that I fall under the second tire, which is 200 to 299, isn't it? And that's why I have received 15% off. Nice. Similarly, if my increase, if I increase my card value again to 300 or above, I'll be able to receive 20% off. See? great so this is how card subtotal discounts work and it's important for us to remember to create different rules for differing percentage discounts that is different tires all right something like the one we did in this video different rules for the different tires that is it thank you so much for watching